People tell me all the time that I have the best job in the world. And you know what? They're right. Don't get me wrong, it can be tough. As a hydrographer, I'm expected to be out in the field helping our customers collect data when they need me. Today that journey takes me to Little St. Simons Island off the coast of Georgia. The island is privately owned and is run by ecological conservationists. They work to protect its 11,000 acres of undeveloped wilderness, home to many rare and threatened wildlife species, including bats, shorebirds, and sea turtles. I'm meeting with University of Georgia researcher Dr. Laurie Sutter and her students who are collecting flow and water quality data. We're going to be testing out some new equipment. So um, we're going to spend a day on the Georgia coast in beautiful weather and uh, see what we can get done. Little St. Simons is a unique island. While many other coastal areas are losing landmass to climate change and extreme weather events, St. Simons is actually increasing in size. Dr. Sutter and her team are studying hydrological changes in the surrounding macrotidal marshes. They are using highly sophisticated technology to measure water quantity and quality. They collect these samples every 15 minutes for a full tide cycle. I'm here to help make sure everything goes smoothly and troubleshoot as needed. One missing data point can impact the success of the entire study. Little St. Simons is a marshland of mud, mosquitoes, and heat. But you go where the job takes you. It's not always easy, but it's always an adventure. One of the instruments the research team uses is called the Sontec RS5 ADCP. The RS-5 is tethered across a stream and pulled back and forth during what's called a transect. The instrument uses mathematical calculations to determine the volume of water flowing down the stream. The RS-5 can also be deployed on a remote controlled vehicle. This can make the data collection process easier and safer for the research team. I think it's just fun driving the boat around. Ultimately, the data is consolidated and viewed via a special software where you can see results in real time or post-process the results later for a deeper understanding of environmental changes. The team also needs to collect water quality data. It's an integrated approach to getting the full picture. So we have collected a sample of water and are now filtering it to determine the dissolved nutrients, nitrate, nitrite, phosphate, total nitrogen, total carbon, total organic carbon, and phosphate. And dissolved nutrients, as I'm sure you know, are operationally defined to pass through a certain size filter. And this is a 0.45 filter, which is pretty small. And if you had a chance to look at the creek water, you know it's pretty turbid. So <laughs> it takes a little bit of effort to push all that water through this small filter. Another instrument the team uses to collect data is called the exosond. What, what are you interested in? What is it going to do? That you're, what data you're going to use for? We are interested in the water quality of our creek sheds um, for this study, and we're going to use it to compare with our algae data and also the nutrient data that we collect. Um, and so is that just a grab sample and then yeah. you analyze it back at your lab? Yeah, just a grab sample. Um, yeah. And, um, and so it's going to collect every minute, and we also collect discharge every 15 minutes and a water sample every 30 minutes. So whatever minute that is, we're also going to look at the water quality and compare that and see what we're seeing. The EXO is installed mid-channel of the river, where it will remain for the duration of this study. I've always wanted to work in the water monetary industry. I started out as a hydrotech for the USGS years ago, so I know what it's like to be in our customer's shoes. That's what makes working with folks like the UGA team so fulfilling. And when our customers have something good to say, well, it doesn't get any better than that. Well, Kevin, you know a lot of companies say that their customer support is one of the 
say Excel, but I can speak to YSI and Suntech that you all have put your money where your mouth is. We've delivered everything. Our project would not have happened without your support, and we are so grateful for your help. Thank you so much. Anytime. <laughs> I'm a hydrographer, and you know what? I care. This was a good week, and that is why I have the best job around.